Hello everyone, Piggy Games here. Welcome back to another Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Well, not really Dark Moon. It's more like, you know, Dark Moon. Let's call it Dark Moon. Buzz 2, whatever. Uh, I hate the British. Uh, here joining me once again, Alex. Hi, Alex. What you got against British people, bro? The British are weakness. The British are the weakness. Yes, in the last episode, we got, we got the talking out of the way with Egad. Uh, he has a basement. We don't talk about the basement. Talk about the basement. Um, we did the put. We got the poultry cost five thousand, and now we're gonna do gear up. Now that you're properly equipped, let's find those dark moon pieces. Paranormal readings are very strong in the north rooms of the gloomy manor, so we we should start searching there. <laughs> Uh, you're a Congress. I don't know what the fuck this is. Dude, you can listen, can listen for it, it's all quiet. No, sorry. Ready for some more action? Uh, you're a Courageous. What the fuck does that say? Courageous lad. <laughs> oh, now we're going British. <laughs> you know, you remind me of myself. At your age, Beller. Oh, oh those I'm, were the days. The I'm, days where I. I'm 57. Was a, oh, that was the days where a freshman could actually talk to me. Okay, dude. Anywho, we need to start searching for the breast of the dark moon. Luckily, I got just the invention to make our job easier. Have you ever heard of an app called Google Maps? Th that doesn't help. And they think, actually don't, actually they could, doesn't Google Maps use satellite and sometimes the police use it to like see what happened in that area? I'm not sure about the police. But no, the way Google Maps works is that there's a car, at least before, there's a car that like took pictures of everything and then like they just upload it to the system. Alright, well, I'm gonna read this. I call it the periscope, a tip top device that detects and measures distant paranormal signals. In fact, I just used it to scan the gloomy manor and I found some strong activity in the north rooms. That's where we'll start our search. Oh, you haven't changed a bit, my boy. There's no reason to be scared now that you get equipped with my mighty Blood Guster 5000. What's your dust? No, it's a butt blood. No details. There's a mechanism that controls the access to the section. Don't ask why that's in the fucking cage. I mean, we do the cops can't tell. The cops won't know what's in the north. Okay, man. The access mechanism is in the foyer. Or foyer. Foyer. I'll give you instructions once you get there. Man, Luigi, I'm gonna play the Mario Kart. Oh. Get all that good. Now get a move on. Hey, go fuck yourself. Anyway, I have a topic for today. It's been a while since we talked about topics here, but I'll have a topic for you today. So, a little background knowledge. At work, uh, I was, you know, I'm a cart mover, which is the most basic shit known to man. Um, I had my, I had one of my pods on, my airpods on, because fucking no one was talking to me, and I kept one, I kept my, a year open, so it could be like, is there a car nearby? Oh, oh, never mind, hold on, it's time to stop. What's this? Oh, I can stick my penis in this. You don't, you don't even have legs. Let a man dream. Let him. Let him. We gotta do the words. 
I, I, I kind of hate how they do this. Stop fucking around. Stick your dicks in somewhere else. I'm gonna go eat some Viagra now. See Vi you later. Viagra. Viagra. Isn't that is that Harper medicine? No. Sure. It's penis and larger pills. Oh. Oh wait, we gotta wait until you get. There's a lot of talking in this game. That blasted ghost. Luigi's, those brutes just stole the gears from the access mechanism. Told you about. I'll use the periscope to find them. Then you can use the map on the DS to hunt them down. Oh, the terrified look in your eyes just gave me a good, great idea. For now, for now on, I'm going to call the DS this. Genius, the dual screen. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. there, remember when I was telling you about like, didn't, didn't they have like a different name for the DS? And there it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, dual screen. You want to open up the map in the dual screen and use it to locate the brute ghosts in the west wing. Mm -hmm. The map has a whole slew of features, so be sure to mess around with it later. But don't look at the files, alright? Don't mod the DS. Don't mod my DS now. I don't know how to fucking work this. I get all my information off of Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for now, get those gears back. Look lively. I'ma go look up YouTube how to's. How to how to how to download Citra. Never mind, they made it illegal. God damn it, Luigi! I need one carton of eggs for this how to. Um. So yeah. Uh, one of the big managers. Actually, no, I texted you this. Yeah, you texted me this like early. Yeah. So just for like, just for like the audience to know. Uh. Manager got mad at me for putting on AirPods. I think this trip was over. But um, his shift was over, and then he saw me with a, with, a, with one pod. It dude got fucking mad. Fucking mad. Like what do you say? He didn't tell me anything. She just told. He told the manager. What the manager said to you? Uh, all she said was that she saw she, she the guy saw me with the pot on, and for me to throw out the garbage. But that's besides that's the only it. He needs to take me up your anus. <laughs> Anyways, um, the topic for you is: Do you see? Is my job doesn't need like communication? And there's barely anyone to communicate to. So the question to you is, do you think workers that don't need a lot of communication, do you think they're allowed to have at least one pot on? I say yes, because, you know, it's like, if you don't communicate with a lot of people, it's like, you can have one pot in, because you can still hear. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah, like, like, what are you doing most of the day? Like, obviously, you're just doing art, and so you don't need to interact with them anymore. Yeah, and it helps, and it helps me do my job a lot faster. But then it's like, when, when like, one of the motherfuckers see, see me, like, with someone, like, huh? at least with me. Uh, because if you were, because if you're a cashier and had AirPods, that would be a problem. But with my situation, it's not a problem because there's no one to talk to. But the it's like there's a lot of times where the fucking manager, like one of the managers, I'm not gonna state her name because you know be real big, that will be real big of trouble. But um, she, the best way I can explain this is that she, ex I guess she exploits the uh, the break, the whole break thing. I really exploit, but like. I swear to you, if it's her by yourself as a manager, because there's like two managers, but like the options there's only one manager, she will like every 30 minutes to an hour, 
she will come out and fucking smoke. Oh, that's, that's is that an actual thing? Yeah, it's a smoke break. Like, if you smoke, they'll allow you to, like, um, take that break. That's fucking weird. I feel like, I feel like the store that I work at, I was about to see the name, but the store that I work at, I feel like they shouldn't allow that. Like, well, like, a lot of places allows that. Like, even big companies do. Like, if you're a smoker, they'll allow you to have a smoke break. Yeah. Read this shit. You want some gemstone hunting on the side? Hey, fella. Oh, be careful. Those ain't real gemstones. They're kidney stones from Shaq. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. Those gems mm -hmm. are one of them. One of a kind. One of a kind worth a fortune, I reckon. It cost me fucking five boxes of macaroni cheese by from Burger King. Oh, that, oh that mm -hmm. sounds good. But remember, you got a job to do, so don't fuck around. Also, don't search the basement. <laughs> don't search the basement. Where you have time to look at your gems later in the vault. Carry on, youngster. But with that, because it be like, because... Uh, sorry for getting a little bit political here. But like, we have shit like what, uh... Michelle Obama did to like make school lunches more healthier because there's an obesity problem. But the thing is, shouldn't we be also be like talking about the addiction problems that are happening around here with like cigarettes and shit? Because I'm saying if that this is like if that's the case, then isn't like smoke breaks smoke breaks fuck smoke breaks just enabling the uh the, the, like the addiction? Uh, let me Google like the purpose of smoke breaks. Right. Oh shit, the wiggy. Yeah, this is pretty. I, I played the DS. This really yes. Okay, so allowing employees to take a smoke break can provide them with a brief. Respite from their work to sponsor is allowing them to relax and manage stress effects efficiently. So I guess I guess so it's supposed to like calm them down. Well, it's like, it's like the, the most unhealthiest way to like to manage stress. I mean, yeah, but like it's like the most of I know like you shouldn't smoke and all, but like I mean, it's become a problem, man. Look at, like, look at near your area, bro. You get, you literally got like, um, um, like a vape, like a vape shop nearby, and it's like near our high school. Oh yeah, that's really bad. It's, okay. The thing is, if anything, I feel like they're. Oh, what's up? I feel like the companies are just encouraging the uses, the, the uses of like cigarettes. What's well, been around for like a long time? I mean, yeah, but it's like if you think about it, it's kind of ass backwards that we can not. Oh, don't, don't do drugs, don't smoke weed, don't do all this shit. But then there's like there's this. Shit. Well, they think too young, so that like, they it won't be like in there in the future. But sometimes, like, you really think, like, some people like, I mean, like, yeah, oh, this person say this, yeah, but, like, that's, damn, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my point. That's the point I'm trying to get at. Because it's, like, they're, because the company are going against what people are learning. And for the people that don't care, they're fucking encouraging it. That's, that's the point I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I get you, but like, it, uh, but at the end of the day, it's not like you, we, you could barely do anything. Because so there's still going to be smoker and vapors that would work. Yeah, obviously, but it's like, companies shouldn't encourage it by, by being like, okay, you can have a break to smoke. I guess like a stress reliever, but there's other ways of relieving stress. Yeah, but like... Yeah, there's like other ways, but like, 
this game though, like, I guess it's like a short amount of time and it's like much faster than what you usually do to like run stuff. I mean, it, but the thing is, it's like, there's already like a deep part of the stress ball. But this game wants to be able to be a with the ball. Yeah, but like, well, I don't think, you know, they also have to go on a professional fan, I mean, how would you feel if you see, like, a catcher squeezing a stress ball, like, squeezing ball? I'd be fine with it. I mean, yeah, you'll be fine with it, but, like, it'll be weird for some people. How? And plus, like, some people have, like, short tempers, so they really don't oh. prefer fidgeting anymore. Hmm. Luigi, how goes it, my boy? You found all four gears? That's quick. <laughs> I just got through watching One Piece. <laughs> Let me tell you that demon I... fruit. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this. I started when I was a wee lad of 10 mm -hmm. years. Now I'm 99, and I fucking finished it. <laughs> well, you got there in the end. Good work, oh. son. Yeah, son. Now head mm -hmm. back for the warrior and... Put the gears back in the access mechanism. You're a fucking dormer, but you know, be mechanical. <laughs> but um, no, yeah. But the thing is, is like, okay. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. Like, like, you feel like I still people. Took a yeah, I, yeah. I get what you're trying to say. Like, um, like it shouldn't be like encouraged. Like encourage like some people when they find out about smoke breaks. I'm I'm gonna watch this one TikToker. He was like um, he did like work like work environment skits where like it's like really good. He's talking about like talking talks at workplaces and what to do, and I'm like, and like he's real good with it. And he said like um, one of the videos he did was like about smoke breaks. And he's saying like how people who smoke get a break, but like people who don't don't. And I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying the kind of current current is like smoking because like, what if you're in a, what if you have? Also, a, here's the thing though, like if you're a nicotine, like if you use nicotine, they don't know like you're if you're like an addict, like you're like you need it like every hour or so. I mean, which one would you rather have? Someone to smoke or someone who will start, like, tweaking out inside the workplace? I'm just saying. I feel like... And this kind of, like, a, like a really difficult thing to talk about. But it's like, I feel like... I feel like I would just, like, not hire people. If I headed a company, I would not hire anyone with, like, an addiction. Like, like a serious like, addiction like to, like, cigarettes and shit. Yeah, but like then some people think like you're an ass for that. Cause like some people no. who have serious addiction, no. no, like some people are trying to like beat their addiction. Okay, yeah, to beat their addiction. But, but how are you gonna beat the addiction if I'm allowing the addiction to proceed? I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's like if I'm owning like a like a for example a tricky cheese. Do you think I'd want a smoker to be a part of the uh, company? No, it's gonna give the company a bad image. I mean, you didn't know this, but like Disneyland, like Disneyland, they allow also smoke. Breaks. I mean, yeah, but because Disneyland is much bigger than like a Chuck E. Cheese. What a long face, Luigi. Well, genetics, <laughs> I suppose. At least I put the nose. Primarily, the gears don't fit into that mechanism. Those brute ghosts must have bent them or something. I suppose I'll have to repair them in order to make them work. Well, at least you recovered all of them. And it looks like you captured some very interesting ghosts. I can't wait to test them out later. <laughs> I, like, I like the blue one. Go straight into the butt. Uh, he got, they got the big hands, you know what I'm saying? The blue one the is gay. Big, long. <laughs> the head. I'm going head first in that. <laughs> I can't wait to check them out. I'm bringing you back now. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, I don't know what you're saying, but like, it's like, 
And I know, like, you don't want the people, you feel like people with addiction shouldn't be really working in the workplace, especially like small, air, like small places like Chuck E. Cheese or like, I don't know, all that. But like, they don't, they, they can't know. smoke like in the front, they have to smoke somewhere where they can hide, like they can smoke in the back. Okay, no, no, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. I'm not trying to say, like, oh, people that have addiction should be fucking executed or some shit. No, not, not like that. I'm saying in a sense of where, like, mm, companies shouldn't be like, okay, you have an addiction? All right. Um, you can have time off during your job. Well, actually, no, like, um, is the you know, company, like, if you're, like, a smoker or alcoholic, then it's fine with them as long as you don't like hot doing some dumb shit and end up on the news and whatnot yeah. but like for like the other addicts like meth and all the other stuff then yeah they won't hire you because of that yeah because like you did something illegal while drinking and smoking is legal to like a certain point so like that yeah so i know what you're saying but like if you're like an alcoholic or a shit. I find good work, Luigi. I knew I should have called you first. But you know what? How come I? Mario's better than you, bitch. Um, let's have a look at those ears. Okie dokie. I shot them up my ears. Mm, I'm gonna come up with something to make them work again. Now, let's unload the Augustus 5000 and see what kind of ghostly goodies are. Let's see how much we got. Look like this, huh? A square kidney stone. No, that's the that's, 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 that's third game. Oh, you're talking about the gem. I thought you were talking about the ghost. Oh, big red. I was right. These new ghosts are very interesting indeed. Such as oh, sorry. And they won't be making any more trouble for us now that they're in the vault. In the vault. Or I mean, my sex dungeon. You can review all the types of ghosts that you capture. After I'm through them. And, and well, you're there. Feel free to read my research notes on there. Ghostly behaviors. <laughs> Analyzing the paranormal si signatures of ghosts also helped me find, fine tune the plug, the periscope. <laughs> now, I don't know how to fucking say that. Sked, skedily, skedily uh, skibbity. Uh, I can't do. I can't say kiggity. It's already. It's copyrighted. I need to figure out a way to make those gears work again. Let's pick my penis. Okay. Uh, we still have, we still have like seven like well what is it seven minutes left? Do you want to keep going? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, please. quiet please. According to the Periscope, the ghostly activities in the northern section of the gloomy manor is increasing. Now that you've recovered the gears, you should be able to investigate. Oh, looks like the kids are rebelling. <laughs> Dance, these damn fucking I'm orphans. I'm your old man, and I'm not in my prime. Oh well, I gotta call upon the Pedal Avengers. Okay, bro. Hey there, Luigi. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh, yes. My Wii needs a Viagra. The access mechanism in the quarry. Fuck you, look at that bitch. <laughs> My penis. Here you go. Use the crank to operate it. The access mechanism. Whatever you do, don't shove it in your ass. Hey, too late. Once you do that, you'll be able to access the more rooms of the gloomy matter. Really? Hear that? It's your mom! <laughs> the periscope is picking up an audible sound from the very same area we're trying to reach. Let's see here. It's music. How odd. I didn't know I had Drake's album. <laughs> if 
Gardner and Whiteley, there's a grand piano in the library. Maybe Rose is playing around on it. They'll call me out getting grand piano for. <laughs> too damn short. Hey you, let me just mark where you keep your head on the dual screen map. Don't read the Harry Potter novel. No, don't, don't read the Harry Potter novels. They're just VHS of porn. Oh. Read too much porn. I have that lotion. And whatever you do, don't mess around with my books. I have that shit categorized by porn. My feet. Shit you don't want to know. <laughs> Let's just say the Pokemon is in it. The Pokemon. This is the strongest paranormal signal we've seen yet. With a signal that strong, I reckon ghosts on the piano might be giving orders to the other ghosts. Damn it! I should have done that. No, no time to wait, my boy. Get to the library and catch that ghost. I need to learn his ways. Alright, uh, but um. Okay, so it's like. Okay, so imagine you're little. And you were told, hey, um, when you get a job, uh, if you smoke, you get more breaks, and you still get paid for those breaks. How do you think the kid will react? Be like, no, I'm not gonna do drugs, or like, I can, I can get money while doing nothing? Well, like, I mean, I guess, but like, but like, still, they don't really, like, they're not open with it. But yeah, but there's like, there's like, there's In like, way, only some jobs provide smoke breaks. I know, but it's like, it's like a, like a shop like mine, what the fuck is Luigi doing? Um, there's like, jobs like mine, where like, they're like, uh, they're like, okay, yeah, go ahead. And like, they don't even hide it. The fucking, the manager that smokes, she, um, she, like, in the front or in the back? She 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 fucking smoked. She she smokes in the front of the fucking of the fucking uh of the That's store. You're supposed to be smoking in the back where nobody's able to see you. The the thing is, with this with like the the place she smokes that she smokes on top of like charcoal packs. <laughs> if she fucking if she can fucking light the place on fire. <laughs> He gets kids are coming back. They want revenge. Oh, yeah. These goddamn spiders. Oh yeah. What's oh, over? Yeah. I'm you a story it happened today. Well, I was with my grandma, right? We were huh? on the walls. Then we, after we were done, we decided to go to McDonald's. Awesome. Yeah, so like, when we were like finding a parking spot, cause like it was hot, so we wanted to park like near the shades of the cars inside one of the that much. You might want to adjust your microphone a little bit. You know what? Your microphone. What about it? it, is it you got a little faint again. A faint? Yeah, faint. Like what, I'm, what, I'm speaking low? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're there at we the McDonald's, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so basically, like, we were waiting for this guy to pull out, cause like, he, he was like, leaving already, so you know, we waited. Then there's like, I think, Black Honda decided to pull up, and it was like, different guy, so like, he was honking at the back, like, he was honking, we didn't ask who, but like, he was at the side of us, like, you know, like, he was at the driveway, you know? Uh -huh. Like, you know, like, you're near the window to grab your food and whatnot. Yeah. So then, like, after the guy pulled up, my grandma pulled up forward to get to the parking spot, and the guy was, like, pulling up forward, so my grandma, like, sped up a little bit, you know? And, like, she ended up parking there, and the guy, like, hopped back at her. I guess he, and we, and he was, like, pissed off that, you know, my grandma took that parking spot. He was, like, he was going to, like, he was going to the mechanic shop near the McDonald's, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, why the fuck are you parking at a McDonald's parking lot when you work at a mechanic? Like, don't you have parking over there? I think it's more in the sense of like it being convenient, so it could be like, Squilliam. 
Still, I can't the cash register school. I have knowledge of everything. I am a certified Reddit user and a Discord admin. You're banned. You're banned, Luigi. He banned. He banned me from my slash my little pony. God damn it! He goes my monster high lore album. I recently think I oh what the fuck West Williams. Oh, I can see it is us. The new boss is well we have the focus on the pants and things are all funny and jokes. Um shit, I'm the camera. Uh I think I think it's your side, like, it's fine, the camera's fine. Well, yeah, so, that's what happened. With, the guy was pissed off, like, literally, like, he, he wanted to park there, and then, like, no. there's, like, you know that Mexican restaurant, like, by the shop? Oh, the one over there nearby the, uh, Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you get a park over there, like, you know, you want to park in that spot. Luckily, you didn't do anything in the he get his mechanics license take away, taken away once like he did something to the car. That was like right next to the McDonald's. Oh, oh Luigi, you didn't catch him in time. You <laughs> fucking misplayed my fucking fanfic. He accidentally posted on fucking Reddit and Wetpad. Now everyone knows I'm a fucking weirdo. God damn it, I knew I shouldn't wrote that My Little Pony fanfic. God damn it. Oh well, you had me worried for a minute there, kiddo. Those big brain ghosts sure put up a fight, though. The way they were throwing all those books at you, my fanfic. Reminder me of college professors. You know my college professor threw a big ass book. His name was Jared from Subway. Fuck, Dude, is it weird that like lately, lately I've been getting mm. fucking videos about Jared from Subway? Hmm. Well, I mean, eh, I've been getting videos about the Donald Trump and uh, Biden thing. No, the thing is, the Donald Trump and the Biden thing are like, they're more recent. Fucking Jared from Subway is like long, long ago. Well, I mean, like, it could be from the new South Park game that came out, like, a couple of months, or a couple, I think a year or a couple of months ago. Because whenever they add a South Park game, they never, like, they always add Jared from Subway into, like, a special. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, I'll bring you back now so I can study those magnificent specimens. Seaman! Yeah. We'll use our brain powers to make an ultimate bad thing. FBI will fucking catch us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before, before we close off today's episode, um, recently, uh, well, yeah, recently, I was in a, to a VTuber's charity stream for a little bit. Her name is Coolish Cutie. Uh, we also call her by Leah. She's a good friend of mine. And uh, this, the subject of Luigi's Mansion came up. And I said I like it because the ghost can punch you. You sure do want a fist, don't you? Luigi, good to see you back in one piece. Here we get much higher. So high. So high. Those brainy poltergeist sure are strong, but they don't. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. 
sure are strong, but they don't seem to be in charge of the ghosts, other ghosts. <laughs> no, they, 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 we, don't, we, don't, we don't call them Brady for nothing. I reckon they're still worth, worth studying, though. It's just fascinating how some ghosts can evolve into more advanced forms. Like Squigwork! <laughs> I don't fully understand the nature of their power, but I will one day. When I do, no more will I have to get up on fucking seat when I'm on Reddit or on fucking Discord. <laughs> that will be my legacy in the world of paranormal science. <laughs> and you, Luigi? You're green! <laughs> Oh, dude, what was that hand motion? The hand motion. Dude, yeah. He's shrinking himself off. Look, he's shrinking himself off. He is, but the hand motion though no, looks like yeah. Yeah, struck my dick. <laughs> Once it's all over, you'll finally step out of your brother's shadow and be recognized as a true hero. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this is going to be in today's episode. The next thing we're going to do is visual tricks. If you guys love this episode, and of course, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to get more stuff like this. Um, you have anything to say, Alex? I'm gonna go form the Avengers. The Pedo Avengers. We have all of them. We have okay, that's enough. That's enough for me, you get <laughs> No, they must hear the truth. They, they must hear the truth. <laughs> the fuck, what was the guy's name? Does like how to catch a predator? Yeah, I don't know who he is, though. But Chris I Pratt. know. He's the Thanos. Anyway. We got Thanos. With the BT, uh, this is video games. Signing out. See you next time. Bye bye.